What's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic from DJFanaticBeats.com. Welcome to another episode of going through every sound in the Storch VST from Studio Link. Uh, this is a VST that's made in conjunction with Studio Link and Scott Storch, the legendary producer. Um, hope, hopefully you're liking this series so far. Thought I'll go through all the sounds for all the producers out there that actually want to you know, preview the VST before buying it or, you know, just kind of hanging out with me, you know, appreciate the love and, or, you know, you want to learn something or, you know, laugh or whatever, but uh, hopefully these are helpful because I know sometimes there's a lot of VSTs out there and plugins that people don't have and you kind of like to see it in action. So I'm just going through every sound uh, right now. So before I do, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the sub button. Thank you so much for all the new subscriptions. Thank you guys for joining the movement, supporting the content, co uh, commenting, liking, and whatnot. So thank you all. Thank you very much. And thank you for all the artists actually buying my music. I really appreciate it. And I uh, look forward to hearing some great songs, too. And if you're an artist, I am doing a mixtape and I have some slots left, so I'm looking for artists. Um, send your music to djfanaticbeats at gmail.com. And uh, we can go from there. Uh, so, and I'll let you know if you know, you're a good fit for this project. So anyway, let's jump into these sounds. Uh, this is the Storch VST right here. Here's the interface, as you can see. And if you see my other videos, you see me go through the sounds. But it's always linked in at the end of this video. And if you, um, you know, have a favorite that I go through during a video, let me know what your favorite is, like which one you're feeling. So here is uh, the section that we're going through now is the guitars. Uh, we're going to take a preview of the guitars that's in this VST. These are the sounds that it comes with. Um, and yeah, here we go. This is the 1930 Oldie. And I'll just play the instrument by itself. That's like a higher octave. And lower octave. that old vibe to it a little like dirty and muffled and grimy um, of course you can do stuff with that I hear it more as a background background instrument um, here is the pattern that I created uh, for the sake of the video I just did a little pattern here in the background or whatever some nice little strums uh, I'll let you hear it So that's the 1930 oldie. Uh, the next sound that we have is the alternative chug, <laughs> which I have no idea. Here it is by itself. Obviously very aggressive and has distortion on it, just uh, in your face sound. I don't know how it'll sound with this, uh, these type of chords and this pattern, but I'm good for a laugh, so here it is. Hey. actually really like that I could start a beat right now with that um, so moving on to the next one before I get carried away like all my other videos uh, here is the um, sorry we're still on guitars and this is the Baltimore that's an interesting name here it is by itself distortion and aggression and grit and dirtiness highs are you know, uh, cut off. I actually like that sound a lot, and I'm sure it'll sound good with the pattern as well. So here's this sound. That's the Baltimore. So the next sound we have is the Beverly Hill, <laughs> the Beverly Hill Billies. I wish I knew how to play it. The theme song of the show from way back. Here it is with the pattern. I 
actually that's a fun sound uh, the next sound we have is the Cali guitar nice clean guitar a little twang on the end here it is with the pattern Actually, I like that one too. Here is the chord guitar. I'm sure it's like pre-programmed chords. Uh, I'll pick a chord. I like that. Here it is with the pattern. that sound with those chords uh, we're still on the guitar so this is the DR guitar uh, I think it's DR for drive uh, this is a DR guitar 01 and here it is with the pattern it's kind of cool reminds me of like a video game a little bit here's the DR guitar 02 I'll play it by itself as well Sounds more like a piano or some type of keys. Here it is with the patterns, with the chords. I like that one. Uh, let's see, here's the DR Guitar 03. Very aggressive, in your face quick transients. It actually reminds me of steel drums. And it's short and choppy. A um, little reverb on the end. It's a nice clean sound. Here it is with the pattern. Wasn't feeling it, wasn't feeling it with those chords. Uh, but it's a decent sound. Uh, next we have the mellow guitar. This is probably something I like a lot. the pattern it's cool not what I expected um, here's the reverse guitar let's see what I decided to do with this one this is kind of what I was thinking that would be for the other one um, ooh. I'm gonna use this Some like reverse chords, I don't know. Uh, here it is with the pattern. I'm sure it sounds decent. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, here is the Rock Chug O2. And I remember like in the other Chug. And actually, I never heard of that uh, name before. So if you heard of Chug before, let me know to all my musicians out there that know what that is. I, I'm not sure what that is. Probably like a distorted guitar, I'm guessing. I'm getting distracted. Anyway, here it is with the pattern. Ooh. It has that R&B feel, but that edge. I really like the distortion and how that sounds with chords. Uh, here's the West. West Chug. Ooh. 
it's a lot cleaner, but still distorted. Wow, I really like that. Wow. So we chugging it out. Uh, here's the West Side guitar. It's like a pluck guitar. Really short staccato. I, I like how it, it, it sounds in that space with that reverb built in. Uh, here it is with the chords. That'll sound cool at a lower octave. So, like I said, uh, actually I didn't say that. I had to make this video really quick uh, just to get through the guitars. We have a few more left, so you know, feel free to enjoy the other episodes coming up. Uh, sorry for the sake of making the video so short, but hopefully, you know, you're feeling some of these guitars. Let me know which one's your favorite. Um, if you have another VST or virtual instrument you want me to cover, or you know, um, any ideas, just let me know. Uh, I have a lot of other virtual instruments, and I could go through certain sounds. I got expansion packs. I got a lot of stuff because, um, you know, I need tools to keep creating music for all the projects I got going on. So, again, if you like the videos, make sure you subscribe. Shout out again to all my new subscribers. Thank you. And all subscribe. Everyone that subscribed, thank you for being a part of it. And uh, when you subscribe, hit the bell, um, notif hit the bell button so that way you you can get all the new content and all the new videos I post every day and uh, it's a notification button so um, YouTube started that a little while ago so anyway I appreciate y'all have a great day keep making great music and um, if you had any questions or anything you can always feel free to hit me up or put it in the comments all right DJ Fanatic from DJ Fanatic Beats dot com signing out peace Yeah, I actually really like that.